my name is Grace Toscano and I'm a senior in illustration at SVA. Um, so going to SVA since uh, applying, my art has pretty drastically changed from my like high school stuff. Um, the classes here and teachers have really kind of helped me learn new um, new skills and new like tools I can use in my art and kind of I've been uh, taught like more stuff about value, more stuff about looseness, uh, learning better anatomy, all of that stuff. Um, and so I'm kind of just gonna go through uh, like different images from when I was a, like senior in high school, freshman in college, and then where I am now. Um, so I feel like a good kind of indicator of like how different my art is, is like I have some self portraits uh, that I had started out with. Uh, I think I did this one like senior year of high school, kind of towards the middle of the year. Um, and so I had kind of had a very different digital style than I do now, but I, I, I usually worked this way before. Um, and like it, it was like a pretty flat kind of I guess a little comic booky style like cell shading and stuff but I was still very interested in like lighting um kind of very saturated color space in general uh and then I also had some I, I my main two mediums were gouache and digital more so digital but I, when I did do traditional I liked gouache so I have this gouache one where um I am again like focusing on lighting saturation uh but like you can see like I mean like there's you know uh some anatomy issues in general it's, it's pretty flat uh doesn't really <laughs> look like me that much uh I, I mean like I guess it has the vibes but um, yeah, so I have a, a self-portrait that I did kind of a couple of weeks ago, probably, and you can kind of see, like, the the big jump to my art is pretty different now. I think I'm much more confident in how I put down, like, values and stuff in my art, and that made, like, a huge difference, whereas, like, this I was kind of afraid to kind of go dark in, like, the dark areas and kind of have high contrast while, like, this I kind of am able to understand form more. I'm not afraid to kind of mix in photo and uh, texture in my stuff. Um, and I, my style has definitely gotten a lot more realistic. Um, I've just found that I prefer working that way. Uh, but I, I still do love like saturation and stuff in my work. Um, and so, yeah, so like going into SVA, um, I was mainly interested in working in concept art and gaming, but I was kind of open to any other illustration avenues there would be. Um, and so like, I I hadn't really like delved exactly into concept work. Uh, I, I would just kind of do images that came to my mind in high school. I would do like color stuff, uh, kind of weird environments, um, but, I, my, my, my stuff was kind of like messy, uh, like pretty loose, but I still had like anatomy issues, perspective issues. Uh, and then my digital work was, I was still kind of figuring out what kind of stuff I wanted to do with digital. So I was very afraid to go more painterly with digital and I did kind of more graphic things. Um, and then like, here's one where I, I really wanted to do background stuff, uh, but I I kind of just had like trouble getting perspective right. Um, but I, I still kind of was very interested in having crowds and being able to do that because I really liked that imagery. Um, and so like going to SVA, I, they definitely, I was forced to learn perspective whether I wanted to or not, but I'm glad that I did because it helped me with my environments and I think like a big kind of turning point in my work like I had improved freshman 
and sophomore year in getting like technicalities better, um, kind of practicing mark making, painting, uh, doing like getting figures better, but definitely junior year when I was going through uh, the junior project, which all the illustration majors have every junior year, um, we're kind of assigned like a theme and we have a big list of things we can choose from. And so my year's theme was man-made monsters and I had chosen Blade Runner because I, I just like love the cyberpunk genre. Um, I love that film. I love like mixing noir with cyberpunk is just like a great, a big inspiration for me. So I, I really wanted to do it and I wanted to do it right. And so these were kind of some like initial uh, backgrounds I had for it kind of building up the city. I had uh, decided to set it in Russia instead of LA, um, just because I, I think that kind of added to the atmosphere of Blade Runner and the core kind of ideas of cyberpunk. Um, but yeah, I, I, uh, I, I still kind of was afraid to go full painterly with my digital stuff. Um, I still like was very, kind of keen on line work um, and I, I was really trying to kind of get crowd scenes and get like the overwhelming city but I, I, I just kind of had trouble with it and then um, my pictorial problems teacher Elliot Lilly he kind of made me learn um, the 3D program Blender and that really really kind of changed the way my art was going to be the next year so like I have these where they're my initial, like, kind of, uh, they're my initial, like, almost finals of the junior project images, and then after learning Blender, I kind of decided to almost restart it in the, like, by winter break, which was pretty stressful, but I, I was able to get it done, so, um, I, this is, like, the newer stuff, uh, where after I learned Blender, I built the whole city up in Blender and then I kind of mixed in paint overs and textures and all of that and just this whole learning this whole process just kind of really changed um, how I approached art and just kind of was able to uh, help me get images that I wanted to get but like I couldn't like hand draw because it, it's, it's hard to hand draw all this stuff. So definitely learning Blender helped me kind of expand my design skills too. Um, so I have these, I have more street scenes. I, I, again, like I was able to kind of get these crowds that I wanted to get and get kind of compositions that maybe I wouldn't have thought of if I was just drawing them from my head. Um, so it's like looking at a lot of reference, making your own reference in 3D that really, really kind of helped me improve a lot. And if you just like, like looking back at something like my, my old like crowd attempts, it, it's kind of just crazy to, to see like, I wouldn't have never thought I could get this kind of art in high school. Um, and so like, this, this is like a, another old sketch I have in... I, th I think I did it like senior or junior year of high school. I was just kind of messing around in my sketchbook with black paper and gouache. Uh, and it's just like kind of to show up my figurative stuff. Uh, I, I had done a lot of observational work with figure in high school, but I still had trouble with like anatomy. Here's like a very, I think this is junior year of high school, something around then where I was like kind of trying character designs. I was still getting used to digital art. Like this is super, super early when I'm like first learning digital art. Um, and it's like, you can kind of see they're like a little stiff. Uh, this is senior, towards like senior summer of high school um, where I was trying to like kind of design more characters, get more into concept stuff. And they're still like pretty stiff. Um, and so going to SVA, I, there's like, we have a lot of figure classes, uh, drawing classes definitely help just kind of teachers pointing out specific things in how to improve, um, my figures and kind of looking at big shapes and form and cr trying to keep the bodies fluid. Like, um, Woodruff's, uh, 
drawing class definitely helped me like a lot. I, it, it made me more particular on what details I look at. It made me like look more observationally at things and like really, really focus on what I'm drawing and like the certain just curves of things, um, how things moved and not to just kind of go straight to uh, how I would think a human body looks and kind of just focus on the contour and not specifically think I'm drawing like a human body and more like I'm drawing what, what the shape is in front of me. Um, so that le that really helped uh, kind of me figure out more figurative stuff. Um, and then this is again from the Blade Runner Junior Project. And it's like when I was first starting character sheets, uh, I, I'm still like kind of tentative about going full on painterly with my digital. Um, and it's still like kind of a stiff pose for a character. And I remember getting feedback of that and I'm like, yeah, you're right. Like it's pretty stiff. I should kind of focus on uh, fixing that in future things. Um, so this is something I did this year. Uh, and so I really wanted to kind of focus on the pose. I'm also like mixing photo bashing with paint over with texture. And so I kind of have a whole new process uh, with working now compared to like way back when I was in high school. Um, so it's kind of taking all these different classes, like the photo bashing class was really helpful. Digital painting was really helpful. And then learning 3D and just having concept art teachers really, really helped me kind of understand how to make images look better. Um, and so I have this. And then uh, this year I took another 3D class. I took a ZBrush class and that really kind of, that really helped me kind of go even further with 3D and helping me design stuff. So I sculpted, this is like kind of my first full figure sculpt with uh, ZBrush. And then afterwards I put some textures on it. I kind of upped saturation, did some paint over. And so I, I'm like kind of able to get down things better uh, with 3D. Yeah, so this one um, I, I had done I kind of mixed everything I learned throughout um, the years where I had learned Blender, I had learned photo bashing, digital painting, and ZBrush, and I kind of mixed them all together and was able to get an illustration. Um, and another thing like SVA really, my, like my classes here have really helped me with is value structure. Like before, I, I would have kind of done that piece like all the same general value, maybe just differentiating with flat color. Um, and not having much space to show and like going with my classes, I've kind of, I've definitely learned like having darks in the front and then having stuff go back in space. Um, so like I, I definitely changed a lot. Um, I think what else do I have here? Oh yeah, this is something I did like very recently. I'm like kind of getting used to doing more action uh, scenes because I, I sculpted like, I sculpted this guy. I kind of set these here and did paint overs and then I put them in this environment in Blender and then I did like a lot of paint over with this, kind of implementing every like small thing I've learned from my drawing classes to my 3D classes to my concept art like slash junior project class um and so I've kind of like put everything I've learned into my most recent pieces um this is another one that I had I pl I had applied to SVA with this one and like I, I I was again like I was interested in doing city scenes um I really liked color I liked weird things I liked doing kind of I was trying to do concept work um, and I was trying to design a lot of like different things and uh, my digital style was still like pretty pretty flat. I was still learning digital and then I have like uh, and now like with everything that I've learned my stuff this is like my most recent environment piece um, and I'm just kind of able to 
make stuff a, a lot more complex uh, just through learning uh, perspective kind of and and just like looking at other other artwork um, a lot of my teachers have recommended me artists or films and stuff and I'll go and watch them and it's just like my mind is expanding with all this new information like I, I'm very into film um, and kind of going to SVA and being in New York I was able to see a lot of independent films that I wouldn't have been able to see in Maryland where I'm from um, I, uh, I, w I would go to New York Film Festival every year and I'd go to director talks like I went to a Guillermo del Toro talk he was like one of my favorite directors um, and I it just is kind of great to be able to learn from people that you look up to uh, in that way and then also just like I remember um, in my drawing class with Mr. Woodruff uh, he recommended I look at more Giallo films because uh, that's who my favorite director Nicholas Winding Refn had taken inspiration from. And so recently, um, and like the past couple years, I've been going through, like I had liked Dario Argento's Suspiria, but I hadn't seen his other films. And kind of just going through that entire genre, I've it's been, like influenced my art today where I'm like, well, how, how would uh, Dario Argento set up this? with like lighting and stuff and big shapes and it's kind of like looking at other work and expanding my knowledge of other work has um kind of let me informed my artwork more and now I have mo like way more points of reference than I had in high school where like my main I, I had mainly just looked at stuff I liked and now with all my classes I'm like looking at um kind of other things that I can pull from uh, yeah, like another thing SVA, uh, taught me was, um, well, just like classes have taught me is, uh, looking at photo reference correctly too. I know in, in high school, I, I had trouble mixing photo reference. I did like, this was mainly from imagination with some figure reference. Um, these were referenced from like a photo. So I, I, I w had trouble kind of mixing the imagination and reference or like using a lot of reference to uh, create something new. Um, but like classes have taught me kind of how to combine stuff to make something new. Like um, these outfits are referenced with like Russian police mixed with kind of classic Russian uh, films mixed with just like modern stuff and so I, I really enjoy like mixing things now um it's just it, it's made like art making a lot easier kind of knowing how to do these things um and yeah I I just yeah just like kind of throughout the years it, it it's like uh my stuff is just very different now, um, and I, I, I had fun with my work in high school. I, I, I liked what I did at the time, and um, I, I mean, like, I knew I could improve, and that's why I, I went here. I wanted to go to art college because I knew that I needed to improve more, and so uh, going here really kind of put me out of my comfort zone, like, especially with having to learn 3D. I never thought that I would want to learn 3D. I was like, no, I'm gonna paint everything, uh, like, and digitally paint everything. I'm gonna learn how to do all of that on my own. But it's like, learning 3D just kind of opened uh, the doors to kind of letting me go crazy with designs without having to worry about, oh, I'm gonna have to like put this in perspective and um, stuff like that. And then just like, general classes uh even like academic classes have just kind of helped me have a wider viewpoint in stuff i'm referencing so i'm not just like looking at the same stuff so like high school i i was mainly like referencing similar things my stuff was pretty pretty similar in color palette and recently i've been trying to like get away from the my usual color palettes that i do uh I've been trying to go more like, I guess like oranges, browns, you know, um, yeah, it just like, 
But yeah, going, going here and like taking classes here and just all the different teachers I've had and the different kind of perspectives teachers had, different advice they've had, has really kind of helped me develop my style and like a very fast way of working, a way of working that I'm comfortable with. Um, and it, it's just, uh, yeah, just like the stuff that I've applied to, uh, applied to the school is like way different now, but um, it, it's definitely like grown from a place that I, I still like. Like I, I'm still doing bright colors, but I'm kind of understanding more uh, what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Um, yeah, I, I just, I, I'm very thankful for uh, the classes, like the classes I've taken and how they've changed my work. Um, and yeah, it's just like, it, it's it's weird to look back on this stuff, like, because I, I barely even, I would never, I don't know, I, I barely even like remember kind of how, how I went about doing this, you know, I... I think like if I did this piece now, I would kind of just go straight in with the paint, um, not even do that like white under sketch, uh, and I would kind of just go straight in, block out the shapes, and kind of develop it from there. Um, I think in high school, I, I while I was like very, I guess like crazy with my colors and stuff. Uh, I, I wasn't afraid of color. I think I was still kind of afraid of certain doing like things that were too dynamic, uh, doing like certain figure poses that scared me or doing like backgrounds. And now I'm like, well, I mean, I, I can kind of like rely on myself to kind of figure out anything. Cause I'm going to have to do that with the job I want. And as, uh, the classes here have definitely like given me the skills and given me the knowledge to kind of work out if I'm afraid to do something, if I'm like, oh, I don't know how to do that. I, I know now I can like find the reference I need, make stuff in 3D and kind of work it out to where eventually like I'll be able to do it. Like I, I never thought I'd be able to do um, crazy cyberpunk cities. Uh, I, I was like, those things look impossible. They're crazy. I mean, they're beautiful. Like, they're they're very. I was very inspired by like crazy cyberpunk cities, but I never thought I'd be able to do them. And now I'm like, well, I mean, I can figure it out. Um, so yeah, I. Yeah, I, I've really in um enjoyed my time here. Um, I'm kind of excited to improve more. Uh, and kind of seeing my old work. Uh, it's interesting to look at the growth. So yeah, uh, thank you for looking at my work and stuff. And uh, yeah, I, I mean, I hope whoever is um, applying to SVA uh, kind of knows that it like um, you're going to improve so much. Uh, just like through kind of just growth. Um, and yeah, I mean like don't be afraid to uh, kind of experiment with your art, kind of go, you know, whatever ways uh, that you're inspired by and kind of just keep going and um, keep uh, trying to improve yourself. And so, I mean like everything will be great if you keep trying to improve. Um, and yeah, thank you.